Hi, welcome to Get Fit with the Body Smith. I am Flex Smith, and I thank you for stopping by today. So my question for you is what is taking up so much of your time that you're unable to focus on you, right? And I understand that we all have a lot going on in our lives right now, but don't you think it's fair that you take care of yourself? And I get it. I'm a guy standing up here, right? And you may be a female, right? We have two different lifestyles and two different ways of understanding. But let me make this clear. I'm not saying that what you're doing is not important and not worth your time. I'm just asking for you to not give up on yourself. Don't quit. Your husband, your wife needs you to be here. Take care of yourself. Your children, they need you to be here. Take care of yourself. How long do you want to live? The next 10 years, how do you want to spend your life and your time? And I always ask this question. When you're approaching 70, would you like to walk into it or do you want to roll into it? Big difference, right? There's no, no better time than right now to focus on you because when you take a realistic look, when you take a realistic look at yourself and what you have in front of you, there's no better time than take care of it than right now, okay? Because five years from now and 10 years from now, you're gonna remember this conversation and wish you would have or you could have. So let's not let that future become a reality. Let's take care of ourselves today. Here we go, let's get this workout on. All right, so here's what I have for you. We're gonna warm up at a little bit of a faster pace today, all right? We're gonna start with some jump squats while tapping the floor and alternating, okay? So we're gonna jump, tap, jump, tap, okay? We're gonna do that for one minute. Yes, I know, it's a lot of time, but here's the reason why. It gives you time to focus, to not rush, and to make sure that you're doing it right, okay? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me hip hinge and do this properly. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, and one, out, boom. Switch, tap, there you go, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Excellent job. You see what we're doing here, right? Jumping in, jumping out, all right? The movement should feel nice and comfortable. There you go. Sitting nice and deep into those squats. You're doing a great job here. We have 10 seconds remaining, all right? And afterwards, we're gonna go into 30 seconds of wide position push-ups. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So I'm gonna go down on my knees and do this in a modified position. You most likely may want to because those legs might have started to catch fire. So nice and wide position here, okay? My elbows are gonna go out to my sides instead of in towards my hips, all right? So we're here and we're pushing up. I'm gonna turn to the side here. I'm gonna let my upper body do the work. Here we go for 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Deep into it. Push up through your palms and squeeze. Nice and deep. Push up through your palms and squeeze. Good. There you go. You're doing a great job. Keep on working. There you go. That's what we need. Nice and deep every single time. Pushing up through your palms and allowing your upper body to do the work, five seconds, four, good, three, two, and one. There we go. We're going to take a 20 second rest. We're going to go ahead and grab some water. I'm going to do the same. Good. So how are you feeling? Warmed up yet? Legs on fire? Good. Your upper body should feel that same type of intensity as well, okay? We have 15 seconds before we begin again. We're still warming up here, the legs and the upper body. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back into those jump squats and touching the floor. There we go. Nice and wide, sitting back and down. There we go. Good, you're doing a beautiful job here. That's exactly what we need. You have 30 seconds remaining. Good. Legs on fire yet? Excellent, mine too. 
Good, we're still working. Good, you're taking your time here. There it is. Here you go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Going into those push-ups here. Down on those knees again. If you want more of a challenge, you can stretch those legs out. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's work. Down and up. Beautiful job. Down and up. There you go. A lot of upper body do the work. Good. Back up. There you go. Nice and deep. And back up. Good. 10 seconds. Deep. Good. Push up through your palms. Nice and deep. And push up through your palms. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water. We're gonna go ahead and do one more set. We'll begin in 30 seconds. Woo, yeah. If your legs are on fire right now, specifically the quad muscles and the glutes, it's because you're doing it right. So keep up the great work. I see you. I see you. Here we go. We have 10 seconds remaining. Go ahead and wipe your face if you need to. Last set of those squats with the floor tap, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Take your time. Take your time. Allow yourself to feel comfortable throughout the entire movement. Good. There you go. Excellent job. 15 seconds. How those legs doing? Good. On fire yet? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. We're going to go down here. Again, modified position if you need to. Wide grip, wide position for those push-ups. 30 seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down, and up, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Down, good. Squeeze, yes. There you go. You should be pushing through your palms. You should feel your, your chest stretching. You should be able to feel your triceps. Get a nice hard squeeze at the top of the movement. Five, four, there we go. Three, two, one, and relax. 30 second recovery window. How you doing? Excellent job. Okay. So, Here's what we got next. Now that we've officially warmed up, now we're gonna go into the actual workout of the day. And so we're gonna take three exercises, put them together in a circuit so that your body, the entire body, part of your entire body, can get a lot of love, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Exercise number one, all right? I'm gonna break them down one by one. Feel free to do them with me, okay? And then we're gonna do a real set. So, we're gonna go into a hand walkout. And from here, we're gonna go into a cross body toe touch. We're gonna to use the opposite hand to reach for the opposite toe. Touch, okay? Walk back into the plank. Walk back, touch, back into that plank. Walk back, touch, back into that plank. And again, into that plank, okay? That is exercise. Number one, okay? Number two, from there, we're gonna hold the plank position, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, 30 seconds, okay? Then we'll finish off with crunches. So, hands behind the head, squeeze the abs up, and then back down. We're gonna go there for 45 seconds, okay? All right, so, now that we know what we're gonna do, now we're gonna apply it. So, for one minute, we're gonna go into those hand walkouts 
with the crossbody toe touch. Again, staying in that position until the minute is up. If you need to come up and recover, feel free to do so. Remember, you're working towards your best ability. So the time will keep going. Just jump on in when you're ready. Here we go, walk it out. Achieve that push-up position. Here we go, we're gonna reach back and touch. Boom. Back to that plank position, reach back, touch. Beautiful job. And if you're doing this properly, you're gonna feel a lower abdominal crunch. Extra benefits. Your body, specifically the upper body, will feel a nice burn. How you doing? Good. Here we go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. How you doing, all right? Good. Now, we're gonna go into those shoulder taps. Now, if you need to, you can give yourself more room so that you can focus on the upper body if you're unable to stretch the legs out, okay? So this first round, I'm gonna do this with you here. Here we go, 30 seconds. I'm gonna turn to say, so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Here we go. Boom, touching. Allowing my upper body to do all the work. Yes, I'm still on my knees in this position, but it does not matter because my core is engaged and I'm making sure that all the body weight is on my hands, my arms, my chest, and my abs. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna go into our crunches here for 45 seconds. All right. So remember, hands placed behind the head. We're not going to push on the head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna support the head, but we're gonna squeeze the abs to lift and then to lower, okay? Squeeze your abs up, keep them engaged to lower the body. Here we go, 45 seconds, still working, still squeezing. There we go, yes, yeah, still working, okay? Again, coming all the way up, using your abdominals only. That's what we want, core usage. There we go, and on the way down, because gravity's pulling, I want you to keep your abs engaged to lower so that we are not slamming the floor on the back, and we're keeping our abdominals engaged. Here we go. 15 seconds remaining. Still squeezing those abdominals to your best ability here. Good. And remember, the spine curls into a ball, so you should feel like you're making a ball when you're crunching. There you go, squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Great work. We're gonna go ahead and take 30 seconds. We're gonna grab a sip of water, and we're gonna put this all together. That first round gave you the opportunity to connect your mind to your body and also understand what the heck are we doing, right? Good, now you know. Now when we start this again, I need you to not forget that information. For some reason, when people start over again, they think that they no longer have gained knowledge or information. You have it, now let's apply it, okay? Good. I'm gonna grab a sip of water, we'll begin in 20 seconds. Doing a great job today. I like what I'm seeing from you. Keep that up, okay? You got this, you can do it. Here we go, last set. And then we'll start to cool down. We have five sets to go. We're gonna go into that hand walkout with that cross body toe touch. Here we go, walking it out. Achieve that plank, walk back, touch. Going forward, right? Walk back touch. You should feel the abdominals getting a nice hard squeeze or crunch at the top of this movement. And again, you don't need to, have, need to go as quickly as I'm going. Take your time. Achieve that plank. Do it right. There you go. We working. Working. Yeah. How you feel? Good? 10 seconds. There you go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent job, all right? Now, into that push-up position again. Again, you can do these on your knees or you can have your legs straight out. Whatever feels comfortable, okay? The goal is to work the upper body. I'm gonna do these on my knees with you. Keep those abdominals engaged. Here we go. 
Tap, good. Tap, take your time. Tap, let the upper body do all the work. There you go, there you go. Abdominals should be nice and engaged here. Woo, we working. There you go. Still going here for another five seconds. Five, four, good. Three, yes. Two, and one. Beautiful job. We're gonna drop down into that plank here for 45 seconds. Again, hands behind the head for support. If you don't need it because you're trusting your abdominal strength, keep them on your side if you want. Look, squeeze up, squeeze down, right? Squeeze up, squeeze down, there you go. Squeeze up and down, good. Squeezing those abs up, there you go, and back, good. Squeezing them up and back, open up those muscle fibers and squeeze, there you go. Stretching that body open, Squeezing those abs, still working here. Good, you have 10 seconds remaining. Stretch, good. Squeeze, there you go, maximize that crunch. Stretch and squeeze, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go, and relax. Great job. You did a beautiful job today. Let me ask you something. Are you still lying down on the mat right now on the yoga mat? on your floor, <laughs> that's okay, you can stay there, it's all right. Because whether you're lying on the floor like you're doing right now, sitting up like I am or standing tall, we're gonna go into some deep breathing and meditation to close out here, okay? So if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes for me. And let's take some nice deep breaths in through our nose. Allow that oxygen to pass through your lungs. Go ahead and fill that belly with air. Your belly should be blowing up like a balloon, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze all of that air out, right? And we're gonna bring that belly button to the spine, right? We're gonna exhale all breath through the mouth, but we can still hold that belly button into the spine, okay? Again, nice deep breath here, allowing that oxygen to pass through your lungs, filling your belly with air and squeezing it out. And let me talk to you for a moment while you're doing this. I want you to take this opportunity to just reflect on what you did today. Give yourself an opportunity to say thank you to yourself because if it was challenging for you, you did it. If you wanted to quit, you made it. And if you're having trouble keeping up with your routines and taking care of yourself, guess what? You just spent some quality time with yourself. So great job with doing that. And I promise you, the more you spend time with yourself, the more you're gonna enjoy that time and you're gonna let nothing, not even yourself, stand in your way from achieving your goals and focusing on yourself. Go ahead and open your eyes and welcome back. Seriously though, thank you for joining us today. Think about how you spend your time, not just the rest of today, but even tomorrow. All you can honestly do is give your best effort and control what's in your ability, ability to control. Whatever you're unable to control, look, give it to God, give it to the universe, but whatever it is, let it not be a distraction from you taking care of you because you deserve it. Have a great rest of your day on purpose, and I'll see you soon.